I'm going to take a look at this uh, solar filter that I bought recently. It's the Batter ASTF-80 Astro Solar Telescope Filter. And it has an 80 millimeter diameter filter. And here you see some of the specifications for that filter. I bought this specifically to use with my uh, Astrophysics 92 millimeter stowaway F6.65 refractor telescope. Now by reducing the aperture of the 92 millimeter F6.65 to 80 millimeters, we change the effective focal ratio to f7.6 if we're uh, looking at it uh, to take pictures of the sun. As you can see, they make the ASTF version, which I have. They make it in the ASSF version. And in the ASBF version. So let's take a look how this was shipped to me. Uh, it comes in this nice box, and then the filter itself, without anything attached to it, came in this two-piece shell inside of a heavy plastic, so it was well protected. Very happy to see that. And then you had your other accessories around the perimeter that it came with. And on that uh, clamshell that the filter was protected in, it's got this in German, and then on the other side, in English, and you can uh, pause the video if you want to read this. One thing I found quite interesting about this uh, series, the ASTF, is that the solar filters are held within a temperature compensated cell. Astro solar film must not be put under stress either during mounting of the film or during any temperature change. For this reason, the ASTF filter features a temperature compensated cell. The film itself is cemented onto an injection molded ring and the substrate of that ring has the same thermal expansion properties as the Astro solar filter material itself. This free floating film carrier ring is held onto the aluminum frame with the help of another holding ring made of fiber reinforced plastic to provide maximum security against breakage of the cell. Here we can see that temperature compensating ring. Here you see it from the top side. So let's see what you get with this kit. Now you will get an instruction manual. One's in German and then you have one here in English. So it stated earlier, you will get the uh, solar filter assembly that has the uh, number five neutral density filter already attached within that frame. Now you're gonna get what they call safety straps, which uh, I'm not gonna be using. I've got a different way of uh, securing it. You're gonna be getting six rubber plugs, three that you would use along the perimeter 
of any slats that weren't covered to prevent any light leak of the sun um, and then three that are uh, going to be for spares you'll get three M4 Phillips head screws you'll get three what they call sliding fasteners you can see they have flats on two sides opposite there and you'll get three black sliding washers three stainless steel washers now you're going to get six centering bolts three of those will be either 10 millimeter diameter as we see or the larger 20 millimeter diameter depending on what application you're using would depend on which one of those you want to choose now I'll be using the larger 20 millimeter diameter centering bolt very nicely made they got a rubber outer shell and they have an inserted brass which is threaded and very nice for using with those bolts that you'll use then to anchor it to the ring so to put this together you'll be taking your sliding fastener with your bolt and as showed earlier there's these flats and those flats will correspond that when you put this onto the filter holder you want to make sure that the flats fall into that that notch that slot there which it will just like that and then that slides back and forth to produce the given diameter that you need to get this to fit to your telescope tube so there you see how that is and then we're going to take and put a black washer on that then we're going to take one of the washers stainless washers we're going to put it on there and the black washer you want to make sure that that kind of covers everything up and then we'll just take our sliding or I mean our centering bolt and we'll just screw that down on there and I have found you do not need a screwdriver simply just hold the back side of this and tighten it down and it's good to go just like that and from the top side it looks like that and as you can see it's got those notches built into that sliding and you can line it up with the marks that are on the actual frame so that each one of those are lined up the same okay guys this next disclaimer is brought to you by my attorney moose that you see here now it is very important that you follow directions and what I'm going to show you next is just for entertainment purposes always make sure you read and understand the directions for mounting this filter onto your telescope so that you have no issues with it coming off So it stated earlier they provide the straps that you are to attach to the ring and then you use velcro you'll put a velcro tab on your telescope tube and then use the velcro end that is attached to the filter and then anchor that to the telescope well I'm not going to be putting any kind of velcro uh, attachment on the side of this dew shield just not going to happen so I've come up with a different way that I feel for myself 
is safe. Now what I'll be using are these rubber bands. I bought these at Walmart. A number 117B. 7 by 1 8 inch. You get a quarter pound of these for less than three dollars. So they're very economical. And so here's what one of those are like. So what I'm going to do is pull it through the hole like that, bring the other end in, and simply feed it through there. like this. So now there's your three rubber bands around the perimeter. And what I've done is on the dovetail bar that I have on top of the 92 millimeter that you see here, this is the Astrophysics dovetail bar. I think it's their 8 inch. Anyways, uh, I already have a quarter 20 hole that's drilled and tapped. So I just used that hole, took a button head, quarter 20, screwed it in there, and now that's the anchor point for the three rubber bands. And that holds it on there very nicely. And when I'm done, just pull the rubber bands off and each time I use this filter, every, every new day that I use it, I'll just replace those rubber bands knowing that they won't be uh, damaged because they'll be fresh every time I use this filter. Now this works fine for me. And again, this is just something that I'm doing, showing you how I'm doing it. Always read and understand the instructions that came with this batter filter. One other thing guys, you're going to want to protect that filter from any damage, dust, dirt, moisture. And what I find is the Pelican 1200 case works perfect for that. It fits nicely in there, and being the fact that it's just a little bit bigger, I can squeeze that in there, and it stays put right there. And to take it out, just like that, put it back in, 